Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today. I know it's kind of crazy, two videos in one week. Couldn't help myself. I had two days off this week, so I figured I'd go ahead and get two videos done for you guys this week so that I can post them and hopefully post one next week. So I'm really proud of myself that I was able to get two videos up this week. So yay! Um, anyways, I did this look for you guys today using um, a really pretty coral color that I've been obsessed with and I've been wanting to do a look with this for a while since I bought it. It's this really pretty coral color. It's called Coral Reef. I don't even know if the camera's doing this any justice, but anyways, I wanted to do a look using that. And I also just bought the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Fierce and Tangy. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. Um, anyways, I did this look for you guys today, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. So, if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I want to start by applying um, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in the color Fierce and Tangy. This color is so beautiful. I love it. I just have to show you that again. Ah. Okay, so anyways, I want to start by applying that to my lid. And I've already primed my eyes with... Um, the tart primer. So just apply that to the lid. I'm obsessed with these like paint pots um, and cream shadows. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these right now but I'm really loving them. Okay so next I want to take um, Soft Brown by MAC and it's just a color like that. I'm going to take that and apply that into my entire crease and it's just going to blend out that fierce and tangy that we put on there. I didn't say that color before, that's the color of the Maybelline color tattoo. It's called fierce and tangy. So now I'm just going to start building my browns. The next color I'm going to be taking is this color and this is called Cork by MAC. And I'm going to be using a 217 brush. And I'm just going to apply this right in the corner. And I'm kind of turning my brush a little bit so we can just get that color right there on the crease. Just like that. The next color I'm going to be taking is a color by MAC as well, and this is called Saddle. And I'm going to be taking that 217 brush again, and I'm just going to be applying that again right there, building those browns in that crease, and just kind of blending it outward a little bit, just like that. I'm going to be taking a large, a larger brush and I'm going to be using this color by MAC as well and this color is called Bamboo and I'm just going to be placing that right underneath my brow bone just to kind of blend everything else out. Just like that. And now for the color that I'm going to apply onto my lid is this color right here. And this color is called Coral Reef. And this is by a company called Saucebox. And I got this when I went to iMats. And it's such a pretty coral color. I'm obsessed with these colors right now. I have no idea why, but I am. So I'm just going to be taking my 217 brush and I'm just going to be dipping that into that. And going right there over that fierce and tangy color and just applying that right over that. And that's just going to really brighten that color that we apply on there and make it pop. Just like that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is lining my upper lash line with this color called Teddy by MAC. And I'm not doing like a really thick, crazy line. I'm just going to do 
a very thin line just like that. And I'm going to bring it in just all the way over. And I'm going to be taking an E20 by Sigma. And I'm just going to be blending that out. Kind of smudging it to soften up that line. So that it's not so harsh. Next thing I'm going to be doing is lining my upper line and lower lash line with um, Smolder by MAC. And I'm going to be taking a pencil brush like this. And this is an E30 by Sigma. And I'm going to be taking that same color saddle by MAC again. And I'm just going to be blending this on my lower lash line right here. kind of dragging that color down. And now I'm going to be curling my lashes. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise out there, but I think somebody's mowing it on. That's really annoying. Okay, now just add mascara to your lashes. And on your lower lash line as well. Just like that. So those are the finished eyes. And if you want to see how I did the rest of my face, then just keep Okay, so for the cheeks, I kind of kept it um, a little soft, but not too soft. I used this color by MAC. It's called Peachy Keen, and it's a really pretty peach color. And I just applied that all over my cheeks. And for the lips, I just kept it um, soft. This is a color by Buxom, and it's called Blanche. And I've already applied that to my lips. It's just a very soft, clear, glossy color. Um, I really wanted to keep it a little simple since we applied um, that peachy keen and the coral to our eyes just kept it a little soft. So here's the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.